It's good mornings. Hello. We are headed out to trap some cats, get some kittens, deliver some food, and I'm running late because that is who I am as a person. ADHD. But first, we're going to get a little bit of coffee, and then we're going to meet Bethany out at the colony, and I'm going to take you guys with me. So let's go on an adventure. It's too early for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so this is a colony that Bethany herself has been kind of on the front lines. This has been her project, this has been her thing. There's a lot of adults and there are a lot of kittens and up until basically now we haven't had any foster space to take them on so we've just kind of been monitoring and making sure that everyone is as healthy as they can be. But today we have a new foster and no it's not me. So we're able to take some, not all, but some of the kittens and get them into foster. I think in total there's between 10 and 15 kittens. So this just goes to show you how quickly things can get out of hand. But hopefully we can get a safe haven for a couple of them today. We've got a few other fosters who have just not yet responded to me, but hopefully then in the next week or so we can get the remaining kittens out of there and into foster. That is the goal. I'm really just here today just just to be there. I'm just here for the goofs and gas. Hi. Some of them are gone. They're just gone? They're there. Because we counted almost 30 one time, right? You 30 total? It. Yeah, counting the kittens. 30 kittens? No, counting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to chaos. So this is what happens when boy meets world, boy meets girl, and one time. So our plan is we can't take all the kittens. We're gonna try to get the smallest ones, the ones that are gonna be more vulnerable to like the heat and the weather and any of the predation. And then the bigger ones, the more like teenagers, we're just gonna fix in return. And she lucky little one. Hello. You don't know. Okay. We didn't make it too easy. I know it's a mess, but after the kittens were in here, they didn't all learn the litter box. Literally cats everywhere. We do have some mamas that still need to be fixed. Like you, ma'am. Are you hungry? We have food. You look just like mama. Are you mama? And then her baby. <laughs> So really, we're just gonna do our best, try to get as many as possible, and just go from there. So welcome to the chaos. But he doesn't know how this works. I can put anything on the floor here and have to yeah. sit on it. <laughs> Non-traditional use of a box trap, or a drop trap. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Good job. The chaos in these clips is gonna be something else, and I'm, I'm very sorry, because hear me out. I feel, I always feel so weird filming at people's houses because it's their property. Like I want to show what we're doing and the importance of what we do, but I don't want to be like, hey, let me dox you. Hey, I want you to feel uncomfortable while I film. So hopefully we just have like a montage of kittens and you can see what's going on and I'll show you everything that we have caught. And then when we get home, I'll show you all the kittens. We go through a kitten haul and uh, hopefully we'll get them into foster by this evening but welcome to the life of a teen art person who tries not to dox people that's me so we are nearing the end but there is one more mama cat that we have to get she's like the last one she looks like she's pregnant so we're gonna do a little stake out and hopefully get her so this is one of our volunteers Brianna she's been with us for over a year now. Yeah, a year and a half, I think. So, Brianna, why did you volunteer? And what has been like a rewarding, why do you keep coming back? So, I originally started fostering when the pandemic hit and I was living alone and I was like, I just need some kittens in my life. Obviously, as we all do. Unfortunately, I travel a lot for work, so I can't necessarily foster anymore. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to still be involved in the community and I know there was a TNR program, so I signed up volunteer application with Miss Dixie's and 
Bethany sent me an email and I just started coming out. <laughs> and it's just, it's a way I can give back to something I care deeply about when I can't do the other things I would want to do. Oh, I love that. You can find a TNR thingy in your, lo in your area. And if you're like us, and there wasn't one, uh, just start it. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy. love squeezy. But we're just at a stakeout now. We're waiting for Mama. We're going home because they are hot and we need to get them out of the heat. I pulled over for just a brief second because the black one was still panting and I offered him some water but he's like, he's giving me a big ol' he does not want any of the sorcery in which I'm offering. These guys are doing okay. They're still breathing a little bit heavy but I think they're settling in for a bit of a nap. It's a lot cooler in the car now but buddy, drink some water. Drink some water. No, no, I've just gotten you wet. I'm sorry, I just want you to drink some water. I don't have the syringe on me. Fine. I tried to help. Okay, so I guess the thing we have to do is just get them home, so we're back on the road. Success. I'm leaving my car running while I prep their space in the garage because we don't have the place for them inside. And unfortunately, it kind of seems like their foster is unable to take them. So as much as I absolutely hate doing this, we have no space for them. So. Everyone who's two pounds is going to get fixed. Sometimes that's the part about what we do that really sucks. Cause there's just simply not enough foster homes. There's not enough adoptive homes. And the person who cares for them really does care for them. So we'll get her some more food. We delivered the food. I just didn't show it. Yay. We'll get her some more food because you guys have fully stocked us for a long time. We'll get her some friskies. We'll get her some of the dry food and then we'll get her some water feeders so that way the kitties have a good amount of water and they're taken care of. But for the next two days, I'm gonna hang out in my garage. You have to have garage kitties in a hot minute, so. Yeehaw, partner! Fresh pee pads. Poop box. This is not sponsored. Sometimes when I'm doing cat things in my brain, I'm like, if someone saw me doing this, like if I wasn't actually alone, would they get the ick? <laughs> Would they see me like bending over to like feed cats and be like, wow, what is wrong with that human? Oh well. Blankets. More blankets. And water. Food. I'll fill those up once the babies are in. Now let's get the babies. That's what I'm saying. Like when I did all that, was there an ick moment? Very likely. And that's okay. I'm gonna turn my car off and then Viva grabs them. I just didn't want them to be like warm. I wanted them to stay cool. Oh, there's the man. Not yeah, Benji. What are you doing, bud? Living your best life? <laughs> he loves me. Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. Number one. And group number two. They're a little smaller. I'm gonna close the garage. So that's probably gonna be a little bit scary. <laughs> Content! Hey, I figured this would be faster. So we do have some finagling we could do. Right now I have 
five that were at Hope's where we were gonna meet today and I was going to give her hers back that are healthy and quarantined. Yeah. So one option is we could give her these guys. The other option is your two because you only have two little ones right now. They could come join my group, my little group of littles because they're quarantined and healthy. And then you yeah. could take these guys. So if, if we don't get a foster, I'd say by end of day, we can probably plan to do something like that. Okay, um, my only thing with that is... Shyla, that's fair. I mean, the other option is Shyla can come into my bathroom and then you could take these guys and then Apple and Yzma could just be out. Would that be okay? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I ideally we'd get a foster. I texted the other foster, so I'm not sure. Let's just see if we get another foster. If not, let's plan for okay. me to take Shyla and then between you and Hope, we can kind of finagle kittens. Okay, yeah, that would work. Okay, let's do that. So tomorrow you'll bring me Shyla and then we'll okay. just kind of see how the rest of the day pans out, but I'll get a sad little picture for you. Okay, sounds good, thank you. Okay, no thank you, bye. Right. bye. Call that the foster shuffle. <laughs> Let's get these guys in there. I hurt my shoulder. I'm too old for this. Hello! This guy's probably the smallest. Small. Don't come this way. Don't come this way. Thank you. Next, we have this little girl. She's probably a little over two pounds. And then we have this one. Ooh, 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 free content. Free content. I'm sorry. Free content. Nope, you cannot come out. I feel like this could end really badly. You stay, you stay. Now these <coughs> are the more spicy ones. One of these nearly took out Bethany's hands, which it's not good. We are, uh, we need to get some gloves. Don't try to grab feral kittens without gloves. Okay, ready? It's okay. This is no thank you. Spicy. Spicy. Not that spicy. Besties. Oh, we found a foster. IRL. I'm a millennial. Okay. Oh, do you see what's going on back here? We kind of escape, we kind of come out. Thanks for coming number one on this adventure. Hope it was interesting. But you get to see kind of what we're working with around here. Like, there's colonies, there's kittens everywhere, and as much as we would love to be able to save and bring all of the kittens into foster, it's just not feasible, especially at the height of kitten season. So, this is where organizations like us rely heavily on fosters. And when we don't have fosters or adopters, we need both. Because right now, our adoptions are a little bit low. So if you want to adopt a kitten and you live anywhere near Seneca, South Carolina, we got you. Look at this girl. You cannot escape. So these guys, it kind of sounds like we're going to have a foster even temporary for them. Sounds like they need to go out of town for like a week. But we can easily move them someplace for a week and then they can go back to her. So hopefully she will agree to take these guys on so we can get them fixed. We can get them into a foster home and then eventually get them adopted so welcome to my life lots of ups and downs you have a total of six welcome and that is probably going to be it i am gonna go home i am home good job mary i'm gonna go inside and take a shower and then try to let my voice rest and get these guys some food and sleep because i'm tired okay girl <laughs> there's no place to go when you go up, you have to come down. Hi. 